Greetings. I hope you're doing great wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Have you clicked that subscribe button yet? I'm waiting. <laughs> Thank you. If you already have, good to see you guys again. Um, I just want to talk about training. If you just got in your truck or, you know, you're thinking about joining the trucking industry. Um, what is the real world versus what you do in training school? The first one, I want to talk about the backing of the truck. When you're in training school, you're backing in between cones. You're backing in between two trailers that doesn't have the tractor on it attached. A lot of times, out here in the real world, sometimes, man, there's an expensive Peterbilt on one side. There's an expensive uh, Kenworth on the other side. And sometimes you get, you get a bit anxious, right? Anxiety kicks in. Just stay calm, you know, stick to your gun, stick to the stuff that you learned from training, you know, you got this. Stick to the basics and always, always get out and look. Um, sometimes too, you know, when you read the CDL manual, it will tell you, you don't want to obstruct traffic. Sometimes, especially out in California, you get to some of these shippers and receivers and you have to be backing in on the road where you're like blocking the road you just got to do what you got to do i mean it's either that or you can't get into the the door the dock and that's how some of these places are set up not everyone have uh some of these big gate in facilities that you see and you think you know it's a bit different in the real world you know um this job i think i would say it is a fun job let me say that first too enjoy the job there's beautiful scenery everywhere out in Montana, out in uh, California, out in Arizona, out east. You got Pennsylvania, you got New York. You could easily take an Uber if you have uh, some downtime. Let's say you have to take a 34-hour reset or something. Enjoy the job. You don't want to just be stuck in the job. Sorry. You don't want to be just stuck in the truck feeling depressed. You know what I mean? Because... That can creep in too from time to time. Enjoy the job, man. Stay positive. The real world truck stop. Sleep schedule. There isn't such thing as a sleep schedule in refrigerated division. Uh, flatbed, you will find that most of the times where you're delivering is like uh, 9 to 5. Because it's hardwares, right? It's stores. It's work sites. I uh, used to deliver at an airport sometimes where they're like doing some form of construction. Um, but refrigerated division, you will be delivering somewhere at 4 a.m. one day. The next day, you'll be picking up a load at 4 p.m. Um, so it varies, you know. And then getting getting used to the noise of that reefer. <laughs> I can't even mimic the sound. But getting used to the noise of the reefer, it takes a time. It takes a bit, you know. It takes a bit. So coming out here in the real world, it will be some adjusting. Um, the trucking lifestyle, it's, it's an adjustment when you're coming from uh, a regular 9 to 5 job. Um, the good thing about it is you don't have somebody standing over you or stuff like that. But like your sleep, you have to make sure you take care of that. Um, your health, you could join uh, Anytime Fitness. You could join uh, Planet Fitness. Um, stop when you get a chance. Go work out if it's even an hour, once, twice, three times a week if you get the chance. But don't give up on that. Um, with the truck stop and the showers, um, I shower at the Loves. They're usually clean. I find the Loves to be usually clean. Um, but, you know, some people just, they can't use the restroom, public restroom, or they can't shower in a public bathroom. You have to, you have to adjust yourself, man. It's an adjustment, I tell you. It is an adjustment, but... I expect delays too in, in this job. Sometimes you get out here and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this, that, that. I'm going to get to the shipper. I'm going to pick up a load. I'm going to, you know, and you get to the shipper. Instead of it taking an hour, the same shipper that you go to all the time that usually takes an hour, that day they're taking four hours. And you're wondering what they're putting in this trailer. Or the same thing with the receiver. You know what I mean? It's an adjustment, you know. Do, you know, put stuff in place that will help you. I like with Hirschback, they have a smart TV back there. Um, 
your phone is like a computer nowadays so you know you could chat with family and stuff like that because one of the hardest thing with this job the backing up the truck it can be difficult but the backing of the truck isn't the hardest part the hardest part is spending time away from family and loved ones you know it is an adjustment but uh when you're uh when you're out here you got to find means and ways to keep you joyful and enjoy the enjoy the experience you know you got to enjoy the experience winter is coming up you're going to be fueling in the winter time sometimes you're going to be tempted to just run out there and put the hose in the tank and come back in and sit in here until it finishes but you have to stay out there you know dress accordingly that dress how you need to dress because if those hose slip out the tank and there's diesel spraying all over the place not nothing good happens in in that aspect of it you know just some stuff to touch on out here in the real world um you won't be stopping and having a full three course meal every night let's face it walmart will be your best friend um, especially if you want to save um you know you could survive on i don't know how you know people eat but you could survive on let's say even 50 60 bucks for the week at walmart um as opposing to stopping at a restaurant every night where each meal will cost you 30 bucks 40 bucks you know before you know it, you're running through three four hundred dollars just on food um so walmart will be your best friend stock up on food it doesn't have to only be snacks they got salads make sure you have water in your truck you want to stay hydrated out here in the real world you know what i mean um and build a good relationship with your dispatch because when your dispatcher can count on you to know that you can get the loads there on time and you know how to run your clock, they will give you some good loads. If they, like, like you know, it's common sense. If they think, okay, this person is always slacking off, stuff like that, chances are you might not be the person who gets the good loads. And then you're wondering, hey, why are they giving me a load that goes 500 miles and they're giving me two days to do it? I could do that in one day stuff like that know how to manage your clock um very importantly when you stop know when to go off duty and stuff like that because your clock your clock is where the money is at if you know how to manage if you know how to manage your clock you'll make good money you make good money especially here at hirschback so you know what i mean but that's it for today i won't keep you guys for too long um Thank you for joining me. We're on our way to 1,000. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. As I always say, stay safe wherever you are, whenever you are watching this video. See you soon.